Hi. Hello. Ah, I'm back. Okay. Dah beli beli. Uh, very fast sampai apa ni? Uh, the girl dekat SK2 counter dekat KSCC. Because she she used to do my facial last time. Tapi dia punya facial dah tutup dekat a mask launch dekat Sogo. So dah tutup. So and I selalu je pergi dekat dia because Bila I beli, I mesti akan dapat something special lah. So, hari ni I got a few, a bunch of small-small, tiny-tiny cleanser lah apa semua. So, I happy. Okay. Okay, now. I'm back home. I'm happy in my nighty and everything. Okay. Okay, now. This video, actually tadi, masa dekat dome tu, I did uh, make a video. Tapi, I rasa macam I tak apa suka dia punya content because... Tiba-tiba tak macam mana I tengah-tengah buat video tiba-tiba ramai pula orang datang duduk dekat tepi-tepi I So it's a bit distracting lah Okay now I want to talk about Marilyn Monroe Oh it took me I think 3 weeks 3 weeks for me to do research only on Marilyn Monroe Why she's so seductive Marilyn Monroe is actually is an, is an icon uh, she's an iconic figure. Forget about her acting. Uh, kalau you perasan zaman-zaman dulu, ada banyak a few films yang dia berlakon. She's, to me, she is more than just an actress. She is an icon. She is seductive. Uh, in the book, kenapa I research pasal Marilyn Monroe? Specifically because in the book of The Art of Seduction, Robert Greene mentioned her and they call her the siren. Damn, you. And and because of the because he mentioned her in the book a few ni 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 cerita pasal a little bit of her, how she is and everything. I do. I memang I can straight buat research and everything. I really because I really want to know deeper what is Robert Greene talking about. And I found it. I found it. Okay, now Kalau you nak jadi seductress uh, like Marilyn Monroe, first rule, first rule, ni bagi I, eh, bagi I. Robert Grimm tak, tak ada mention dalam buku dia. Yeah, first rule, first rule. Uh, you kena tahu diri you siapa dulu. Yeah, you kena tahu diri you siapa. Uh, apart from that also, I know a lot of people don't believe this. But go into your astrology and find out. Go into your astrology and find out. Like me, I'm an Aquarius. I am an Aquarius. I'm a fixed sign. Fixed signs means I'm fucking stubborn. I cakap tu serang dengan you. I know this. I know this. Yeah. And also, I'm an air sign. Air sign. Air, babe. Air. We we actually don't like to be confined. You cannot capture air. How you capture air? Tak boleh. That's why people like me, air signs, yeah. Who is the air sign here? Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Girls, you girls, you girls know what I'm talking about. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, we are air signs. Kita memang suka freedom. You tak suka control orang. You don't like to be controlled also. Huh? So that's why we are always up there. Uh, lagi satu pasal air sign, kita macam, macam like us, huh? we are not really that pretty. We are not like Helen of Troy, eh? the most beautiful woman in the world or whatever. You are not like Angelina Jolie with that kind. By by the way, Angelina Jolie, she's a Gemini. Eh? She's an escort. Eh? I cakap dengan you. Eh? We are not like her. You and me, kita masing-masing ada feature kita. But somehow or other, we are very interesting. Because you know why? We are different from other people. A bit eccentric because my, myself, I'm an Aquarius. I'm a bit eccentric. I am a little bit eccentric. Okay, now. Kenapa I cakap dengan you, you kena kenal diri you. You kena kenal diri you. Because from there, there are certain things that, certain criteria inside you, inside you, I'm talking to you now. Certain criteria inside you that you are born with. Certain things, ada. This is why I want you to look into your zodiac sign. What What are you? Macam I, I element I, air. We are always up there. We are inter intellectually stimulating. Sebab tu, air signs lah. Like me, my fellow mates lah. Libra, I'm not so sure about Libra though. Because Libra, I perasan kalau dia nak dengan jantan-jantan bodoh pun dia nak. Macam I, I and 
Gemini, eh? Aquarius and Gemini because myself is Aquarius. Aquarius and Gemini, we are always attracted to guys who are intellectually stimulating. You want to testify against that? You tengok balik life you. What kind of guys that really attract you? Macam I, I memang attracted to guys who are a little bit of a leader but intellectually stimulating. Maknanya always talking about something that, ah, you know, I really... You faham tak? They're really out of this world. Talking about the stars, talking about the planets, no? talking about science. But I don't like politics though. Huh? Okay, now. Okay. Now, why? Kenapa? Because from your sign, you tahu. If you go into your zodiac sign, you tahu. Whether your sign, you, yourself, is masculine or feminine. Yeah? Sebab sekarang ni, I nak bagi tahu you deeper, go deeper. Because my my video is more on psychological things uh, that you have to build up. Okay? Macam I, Aquarius, we are super masculine sign. Who else is super masculine? Aquarius, Aries, Leo. Super masculine. Aquarius, Leo. Aquarius, Aries and Leo kalau tak silap I. We are masculine sign. Scorpio also. What else? Uh, Libra. Libra, no. Saggy. Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. We are masculine. Masculine in what? The way we talk. Uh, the way we talk. The way we, you know, kalau you perasan, the masculine sign ni, we make good leaders. You tengok ah banyak-banyak bosses-bosses yang I would say berjaya lah. Huh? Uh, like really excel in their, in their in corporate world and everything. Mostly, most of them are these signs. Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo. Yeah? These are people who like, I want to check out because they are masculine, you see. Masculine bukan in the sense of muka. Though Aries memang nampak macam muka kuda sikit eh. Uh, you tengok eh. Geng-geng Aries eh. They have that that square face. Like very masculine face. Huh? Contoh macam Lady Gaga. She's an Aries. Madonna kalau tak silap eh. Aries juga eh. I'm not so sure. I think so. I think so. Lady Gaga you tengok muka dia. Okay. Now. Bila you punya internal. Is masculine. Masculine means what? Huh? You don't like to be controlled. You want freedom and everything. So what do you do? Di itu internal you. You punya behavior sekarang ni. You memang tak suka ni 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 ni. You like to talk back to people. Wait, though I I'm not lah. Uh, I'm not the kind of person who likes to talk back to people. After I know about human behavior, after I I read Robert Greene's book, I memang change a lot of things about me now. Okay. Sebab kalau you exter internal is masculine. External, please tone it down to feminine. Nampak? You kena, you kena ada combination of these two. Because Marilyn Monroe, she has the combination of these two. You faham tak? You faham tak? The person who is actually embodies her, after she died lah, after Marilyn Monroe died, Madonna. Madonna bagi I lah. Kalau you tanya I, she's not really Marilyn Monroe iconic uh, seduction thing I a little bit tapi close you know why you know why I check you I think something yang Madonna uh, overdo lah I rasa is more of overdoing dia yelah I know dia work out and everything sebab dengan masa-masa it's a little bit like a little bit boyish because Madonna is very boyish tau huh? though she you know she tries she tries but she's close she is close eh? Because of the music and everything kan. Dengan glamour and everything. Okay, now. now. Kalau you girls, jenis yang suka pakai seluar. Yeah, you are masculine. Masculine sign. Eh? You are masculine sign. You suka pakai seluar. Try, try. Once in a while, wear skirts. Wear dresses. Huh? That's, the, that's the reason why I transform myself to be like this. With long hair, I color my hair, I wear nighty, you know that kind of stuff. I dah tak pakai dah. Apa? Uh, pajama yang seluar dengan baju, I dah tak suka. You know, because you know why? I want to build up because from far, people can see that I'm a little bit of feminine. 
Huh? I'm a little bit of feminine because you need to have that tone of femininity in you. You faham tak? You can't be all masculine. Because kalau you are all masculine, lelaki tak suka. You are not seduction. You are not seductive. You faham tak? You, perah- you perasan tak? Also goes with woman yang memang you are too girly. Girly in a sense of dalam kau pakai apa? A dress with all the frocks and everything kan? You with your long hair and everything. Tapi kau eh, macam lembek sangat. Lelaki pun tak suka because you become needy. You faham tak? Neediness. Huh? Macam seolah-olah macam neediness is insecurity. I cakap dengan you. You look so insecure. So you kena tahu. You kena tahu cari uh, the middle point. Always balance it out. Huh? Feminine with masculine. Okay, now. Number one. Ni adalah appearance. Huh? This topic is all about appearance. Okay, number two. How you want to be? Seductive like Marilyn Monroe. Number two. You perasan tak? The way you talk. You tengok balik. After this video, I want you to watch Marilyn Monroe punya videos. Whatever. You know, the movies ke apa ke. Tengok. You watch her. I mean, not in movies, but in her real life. You know, like some interviews ke apa ke. You tengok. She is actually... The way she talk, she talk slow. She talk slower. Dia punya tone of voice is as if like baru bangun daripada tidur. Huh? Like macam like yeah, okay. How are you doing? Are you fine? Yeah, I I I've got something to do today. I'm sorry. You know, maybe I'll see you next week. That is how she talks. Huh? Because when you use a low tone of voice, low, low, like, hmm, hi, hmm. Okay, I, I give you an example. Contoh macam I, sekarang ni. Okay, I, I'm having a conversation with a guy. I give you an example. This is how you you try to mirror Marilyn Monroe. You're with a guy, you don't talk much, eh? as, I, as I say. So when the guy was like trying to, so what's up with you? He just say, Oh, I'm a bit, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got work to do. Hmm, I'm fine. I'm okay. So, I didn't ditanya tanya lagi apa semua kan. You, uh, I think this is, this is not working. Okay, fine. But, the embodiment is, talk slower. Okay. Simple words, huh? Contoh macam kita biasa. How are you today? How's things today? How are you today? Itu kita punya normal uh, the way we converse eh? hari-hari. Okay. The way Marilyn Monroe talk is how are you today? You nampak tak perbezaan? Instead of how are you today and how are you today? You nampak tak perbezaan? Benda yang sama. Yeah? Exact words but different way of saying it. Talk slower, use a, a lower tone of voice as if like you just woke up from bed. Like you you sound like you're so lazy and you are like you're having a lot of time in the world for loving and for sex and everything. You faham that? You understand? Okay. That is how you talk. Okay. Number two. This is how you move. Marilyn Monroe is so elegant. She, her moves, dia tak pernah looks like she's rushing. Move slow. You understand? Always, you know, like, have a composure to your, to your, the way you, you, even you turn your head eh? instead of like orang panggil nama you contoh lah orang panggil I hi Leah you don't go like this you go like you know orang katakan contoh eh? this is it's what I cakap you you can practice benda ni katakan somebody hi Leah this is how Marilyn Monroe will will do eh? hi you nampak tak beza hi and Hi. She's not in a hurry. You faham tak? She is not in a hurry. You faham tak? 
try and try and lower down you kena everything you nampak tak everything you have to lower down you nampak tak i never ask you to be so extreme and so loud because being loud is not seductive i cakap dengan you terus terang but if you actually do it slow contoh macam you berjalan you tengok videos ah of Marilyn Monroe walking on stage going to the stage and getting the award or whatever or she was the top or whatever you think macam mana dia ber, dia berjalan she's just like hmm? berjalan as if like you faham tak apa cakap even the way you move the way she picks up her handbag the way she talks hello hi yeah i'm fine i know that kind of stuff you faham tak Babe, benda ni sebenarnya you and I we are born with it. We are born with it. Kita, kita ni perempuan. You must embrace your own sexuality. Okay? You must embrace that. You tak boleh lari daripada benda tu. You faham tak? You don't want to be sexual. No. You want to be seductive, you must embrace your sexuality. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I've already covered what number one tadi appearance, eh? in terms of appearance, how to to match up with your personality in terms of feminine and and masculine. Number two, the way you talk, huh? You, you lower down your voice, you talk slower. Yeah. Number f- number three is your movement, move slower. Huh? Okay. Now, this is number four. I believe this is the final one, lah. Huh? Marilyn Monroe ni sebenarnya I cakap dengan you She gives a hint Of sex Hints, I'm talking about hint But she never She doesn't even sleep around with the guys though She gives the hint Of sex So macam mana? Macam mana? In terms of In terms of apa? In terms of apa? Macam mana dia buat? Hint of sex is actually you are hinting at it. This is the power of insinuation again, eh? Because insinuation is sort of like hinting. You giving some hints. You bring, you macam bagi crumbs here and there. Bagi satu kat sini, bagi kat satu. You hint. You bagi hints. You are not giving the whole thing. She gives hints of sex in the way she talks, in the way she moves, the way she dress. Okay, how you want to give a hint of sex? In the way you dress, you dress. To me, bagi I lah. Eh? Kalau you tanya I, kalau you boleh talk slower, you can move slower. You can also dress up like sex. Dress up like sex is different from being trashy. Eh? I cakap dengan you, uh, being a slut, eh? lain. Eh? Okay, macam mana? Macam mana nak buat? In appearance, bagi I senang, senang sangat. Kalau katakan contoh you beli, you pakai skirt. You pakai skirt, a long skirt. Imagine, eh? it's a long skirt, but where there's a slit. Skirt yang ada slit, maybe a slit until to your knee or something. That is sexy. Wear that. I check up. Huh? Tapi aku suggest do not wear those things to work. You wear that on a date. I am talking here on a date for you to get the guy, for you to be. Sub- to the guy wear that on a date a little bit a hint of sex ha? contoh contoh katakan ok macam kenapa kenapa I cakap you berbeza antara you want to hint on sex or you are going to wear slutty slutty contoh ha? macam you pakai dress yang macam spaghetti strap contoh macam ni kan eh? spaghetti strap pendek you know dah lah atas ni terbuka Lepas tu bawa apa yang No. Do not wear that because you look like sex. You faham tak? You only want to give hints. Hints. Faham? Contoh macam eh. Contoh macam Chanel. I nak you girls. Huh? You watch the video. How to dress up by Chanel. Chanel. Coco Chanel. Dia ada bagi video. How to dress up. You tahu tak? Kalau katakan you pakai shirt. You pakai shirt eh. Katakan shirt ada button kan? You pakai shirt. Shirt. Uh, apa? Blouse. Blouse eh. Ada button. So what what does Chanel do? Chanel give you at least two buttons. Satu, dua. Huh? Do not open more than two buttons. Maknanya button yang ketiga, you kena at least satu. Maknanya apa? Show a little bit of cleavage. Padahal kau pakai seluar. Kau pakai jacket. 
but your blouse is you lose the two buttons it gives hints of your cleavage that is what I'm saying hinting of sex paham paham tak apa cakap because Marilyn Monroe is doing that she hints she gives hints to the guys of sex paham it's very different you nampak tak konsep sangat lain tengok pada Chanel Chanel video ada I I saw that that uh, video about how to dress up ya huh? contoh macam for a woman uh, macam uh, she also say the video also talk about accessories kalau you pakai earring like a big earring earring do not wear something on your on your that one instead wear something on your either you punya ring ataupun the ring something like that ada dia ada bagi tahu bagi sebab tu I cakap dengan you ah Marilyn Monroe is an iconic figure. Put it this way. Even my own father also tahu. Those yang umur 60, 70, katakanlah. Yeah, you umur 60 something or maybe 70. You know what I'm talking about. And you know who Marilyn Monroe is. Even JFK Kennedy also fall in love with her. Yeah, but unfortunately, she's always alone. Yeah, I cakap dengan you. Because sebab tu I cakap dengan you. Apa? I, I do not know what actually happened in her life that made her kalau tak silap I she suicide asalnya I I think she kill herself because of depression or whatever I don't know but the thing is the thing is right now doesn't matter how her life her personal life is but it's the persona sekarang ni kita my video is I am giving you hints and tips of be, having that persona of iconic seduction is a persona you faham tak Seduction is art. Sebab tu, art ni, art, art eh, bukan senang orang nak master. It takes you focus, it takes you training. You have to train yourself, you have to practice. And you have to, apa pun cakap, you have to be adventurous. You kena test. Contoh macam, macam sekarang ni kan, I'm, I'm starting to wear makeup now. Because I told myself, what the hell. I've been watching a lot of videos lah about how to make up properly and everything. I'm thinking, oh, what the hell? You know, because I'm a woman. You understand? Because kita perempuan, kita ada desire to be beautiful. You have the desire to be seductive. But a lot of women do not know how to do it. Now, I'm telling you. Huh? You want to be seductive like Marilyn Monroe is more on... Marilyn Monroe is more on what? Persona, I cakap dengan you. It's more on persona dia punya aura you faham tak ha? being lazy being like a little girl wants to be helped want to be rescued and you know macam even kadang-kadang kalau you perasan dalam video dia she talks like a baby like hmm why why are you doing this to me honey that, you know that kind of thing eh hey, lelaki suka tau lelaki suka because she's, she's being flirty by not being trashy You faham? You faham tak baca kau? It's different. You faham tak? It's different. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna stop studying about Marilyn Monroe because I've already made this video. So my next video will be Cleopatra. That one is is a big challenge for me because tak banyak history about Cleopatra. And I'm watching one about her. Apa? The Cleopatra movie played by Elizabeth Taylor. Tapi I rasa macam version tu macam tak betul. I pun tak tahu. Okay, so my next video will be about Cleopatra. Okay, alright, take care everybody. Bye. Be the bitch, eh?